Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing fine. A device that converts electrical energy into mechanical work is known as motor. Motor find their uh, application in many appliances like fan, grinder, mixer. There are many appliances. Even A digital camera makes use of a small DC motor. Apart from this, the cell phone that we use also have a small motor in it. See, this is a, the motor used in the mobile phone. I have one with me. This is a, the motor removed from a mobile phone. It is used in the mobile phone for vibration. In this video, we are going to learn about the motors in detail. I will make a small motor to explain how it works. Here I have a simple motor made using easily available materials at home. Now I will connect this to a 9 volt battery to show you how this functions. As you can see the moment I have connected this to a 9 volt battery it has started rotating. As I told you earlier a motor is a device that converts electrical energy into mechanical work. Uh, you might have come across uh, this kind of toy motors. Well, now I am going to show you different parts of this DC motor. I will remove it. Now if you look at the inside, it consists of a, a magnet. It is called as field magnet. It is used to produce magnetic field. Then there is an important part. It is called as a, it's a rotating part of a magnet. It is called as a rotor. It consists of armature, coil, now, which is ultimately connected to this part called as commutator. Commutator and uh, I place it inside. There is one more important part of uh, a DC motor called as uh, metal brushes. In some cases, these uh, metal brushes are replaced with the carbon brushes. See, this is called as metal brush. When uh, this DC motor is connected to a battery or a cell, in such case, uh, the external circuit come in contact with this uh, winding or this uh, rotor through this uh, carbon brush. These are the different parts of uh, a DC motor. Now let me show you the different parts of the homemade motor. Here this is the field magnet and this is our armature, armature coil. It is made of enameled copper wire. Then this part no, I have used two safety pins through which I pass the electric current by connecting it to a battery. Now it uh, behaves as a carbon brush and uh, here I have made a sudden changes. If you look at this carefully you will find uh, this armature. Now here I have removed uh, the enamel with the help of uh, sandpaper. Here I have removed the enamel partially whereas here the enamel is removed completely. Now this acts as commutator in our homemade motor. Now I will show you how to make this part of our motor. For that you need to take one foot long enameled copper wire. 
of this kind then use one double s n for winding look at it carefully what i do place it like this and give four or five windings two three four five i have given five windings now after giving five windings just remove this manner now i will put a knot such that it should take uh, this kind of uh, form uh, look at it carefully what i do now i hold it up from here now i bring it inside then i take it out this way just uh, give one or two twists of this kind now uh, oh uh, it's done and do the same thing to this uh, side as well just uh, put the knot such that this part should not unwind by its own this way uh, okay now it is almost done our armature is uh, is uh, almost uh, ready now uh, make it straight then use a small piece of a sand a uh, paper already i have removed the enamel from this and i'll show you how to do that uh, one side uh, remove the enamel completely uh, remove it completely from one side and uh, when you go to the next side now you have to be very careful remove the enamel from one side one side only like this see how i hold the paper like this uh, remove the enamel from one side if you turn this you may find the enamel coating on the wire enamel coating is present here whereas here it is removed like that this part behaves as commutator of our armature I hope you have understood. Now then, uh, uh, here I have used two safety pins, two safety pins, which are connected to this uh, magnet. I have removed this magnet from a loudspeaker. Use uh, two or three magnets for better result. And place it like this. Then connect uh, two small pieces of. Uh, wire to the safety pin here uh, for better contact i have soldered them otherwise you can also connect them directly i hope you have understood how i have made this a uh, simple dc motor i will show you one more uh, motor which is simpler than the first one here i have uh, two magnets removed from this kind of a loud speaker now here is the the motor which is simpler than the previous one now i bring it near to the magnet see if when it doesn't rotate this gives gentle push you can see the motor has started rotating Now let me tell you how I have made this to make a uh, this a uh, DC motor. You require one double S N. To that I have connected two paper clips. Here I have uh, done certain modifications to the paper clip. Take a uh, two paper clips. Just hold uh, this this part and. Uh, 
stretch them to appear like a letter S. Do the same to another paper clip as well. Stretch them to appear like letter S. Then attach them to your double S cell with the help of a cello tape like this. Then place your armature. Your DC motor is ready. I hope the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.